So I grew up whitewater rafting on the Deschutes River. They'd have us put all of our valuables into this bag. It would keep the water out. They'd roll it and seal it and so no water could get in. And I thought, man, that is just so cool. And so when I started this leather thing, I said, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna call it a water bag. And here it is. So let me show you the construction of this one. This is a really cool one. This takes one huge mother of a cow to make. And it's really hard. We ran out a lot of stock on these because it's hard to get a piece of the hide that's this big um, that is good and sound. So check this out. We have uh, one piece of leather and it goes all the way around. Starts right here. See no seams? Look, no seams right there. All the way around. And then also it comes underneath. And then it comes up the sides and it comes down the front. And then it's all sewn together right along here. Just one seam, same on the other side. And what you end up with is a seam up the middle and just one really cool leather bag. Now, I've designed it to have the shoulder strap be connected here and go over the top to right here when it's nice and closed like this, whether it's folded over or rolled, you have this here. And then you have this one here on both sides for when it's really full. And what you want to do is you just connect it there and you just carry it right along full of your stuff. If you're going to be uh, using it in the tote form, like let's say you're at the beach or you're, you're carrying a whole lot of stuff with it, you slide these in here through these slots and now you've got, you've got a, a tote like this. What I usually do when it's full is I take this handle off and I drop it inside. So let me show you the inside. These straps, they connect onto a, uh, they go through a belt here so they run right along the sides. And then you've got just the interior, you got a, we have a liner down at the bottom, removable, if you want to get it nice and soft. And it goes up the sides to give it a little bit of form. Or you could take it completely out and just have a one solid leather uh, Santa Claus bag. Also, when you're loading it, just that little idea, is fold it over the edges so it'll stay nice and rigid. Pretty cool, huh? And then this covers it up if you have, if you have it full at different amounts, that just lays across so no one can see inside of what you, in, in the, what you have. Now the medium here, the beauty of this is that it turns into a backpack. Here are two D-rings. You take the shoulder strap off, connect it here, go up to here, run it through, and back on down to here, and you've got yourself a handy little backpack. And it actually is quite comfortable too. So here are the dimensions. This is a 20 inch by nine inch uh, by however tall you want it. And this is a 24 inch by nine inch by as tall as you want it. So this is the carry-on size. Fits real nicely, actually even, even flat into the overhead compartments and also under your seat. And this one, if they'll let you on with the 24 inches, you're good to go. It fits in overhead compartment also. Um, it'll stick out quite a bit under your seat. So here's a little disclaimer too for those of you who blow dry your hair in the bathtub. This is not 100% waterproof. It will not protect all of your things if you take it white water rafting or submerge it in your bathtub. So don't take it white water rafting. And for that matter, don't take your bathtub white water rafting either.